Hey doll baddies, so we're back with another video. Today's video is going to be a product review. So if you guys are interested, please keep on watching. Now without further ado, let's just jump straight into this video. Okay, so let's just jump straight into it because I know by the title y'all just want to know how is this blue, what's the tea? I'm here to give it to y'all. Okay, so boom. So I have the Lace Grip Glue Extreme Hold. And this is what it looks like. It's a little dirty because I've actually been using it and I'm about to be done. Like I got probably like five more heads I could do with this. But yeah, so this is the glue I've been using. And I've been using this glue for about a month and a half. The cost is $29.99. Shipping was $8.18, which made it $38.17. Okay, so off rib, I did have notes, but I couldn't find the notes and I didn't even make this video. So I'm gonna just try to hopefully remember everything in my head. Okay, so boom. Okay, so off rib, what I didn't like was shipping to three weeks. That's ridiculous. I ordered it, I forgot the date, well, the, the date right in front of me. I ordered it October 9th and the day I got it, let me have my facts together. And I received it October 23rd. This glue took literally three weeks to come. That's freaking ridiculous. I was over. I was pissed. Like, I ordered before even a Hurricane Irma was in the picture. I understand Hurricane Irma, Irma came or whatever. But then it took another week to just come. And literally, the um after I ordered this hit this hair after i ordered this glue the um next day they sent out shipping through usps but i'm just thinking they must have did their own shipping and just put the numbers of the shipping label but really didn't ship it out or just imagine it did it i don't really know but it said it got shipped out but literally there was no information of tracking probably until like three days before it actually got delivered so probably october 20th the whole time every other day i was checking it there was no movement no nothing like it just said the shipping label was made, but it wasn't like, you know, sent out to facility or carrier or on its way to another USPS. And this is coming from Georgia. And I know when I be ordering, you know, from California, someone, even like in Arizona, it be taking three days. So how we go from three days to three weeks? You know, I don't really know if they really didn't have none in stock. What was the hold up? I am going to purchase this glue one more time to see if I really like it. But three weeks is way too long. Anybody got time for that? Like, that just don't make no sense. And when I did post about it on Instagram, one of my own followers, and she's also a hairstylist, she was like, it's been a week. And she's actually in Atlanta, Georgia. So it was just like, where is the, I don't really know the term, but how is it not adding up? Like, it don't make no sense how long shipping was, which I was sending it out the next day, but it's really not, you know, coming in three weeks type of thing. Like, What's I don't I don't understand shipping is a big thing and for I'm to be in Florida and there to be in and for them to be in Georgia is literally hours away. How many hours it take to drive from Atlanta to Georgia? It's not that long. The max I would have gave this hair was a week to come. But three weeks it was just too much. So if I go through that again when I do decide to purchase this glue again. I don't really know, and I did. They said if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, you know, to definitely email them, which I did. No response. Also, you know, the um Instagram follower that I did have that DM me talking about, you know, theirs was taking a week to come. They also um emailed them and no response back. Like, how you gonna say, oh, y'all can email if any questions and then you don't reply? You know, so I. That was just really a big thing for me that I wasn't really feeling. I'm not gonna even lie to y'all, but. The glue do got a good hold. As soon as you put it on, I do have a video of me putting it on. And I still did do like a pull test. It's sticking like this, baby. Like literally. And I only I do two two layers. On my clients and other people, I do three layers. But my, myself, I could do my own hair, touch it up. Sometimes I don't even wear my hair that long. So two layers is enough for me. But as soon as I put it on and you blow dry it on that warm heat, baby, that thing is stuck, Okay stuff so that's one thing i do like about it like it's a very strong hold it does hold way more you know um stronger than ghost bond which i've been using for a year and this one i've been using for a month or going on two months but a month and that's what i do like about it um ghost bond i haven't tried any uh, any other adhesive like i haven't tried no hair store adhesive like on um, walker's tape or um that 30 second lace glue that stuff too harsh but i haven't tried any of those so you know to eliminate the questions that might come how i feel about so and so glue i don't know and i also haven't tried other brands that are um promoted on instagram like that they're lace glue so all i am familiar with is these two but i personally don't like that clear glue that you take out 
this is kind of off topic but i personally don't like the clear glue that um you take out and it's like gluey like not gluey but it's very like sticky and then i'll be seeing them go like this and then they gotta wrap it around and they gotta no i that just sounds like hashtag your edge is gonna be gone okay like no anybody got time for that so i don't be doing that but anyways um yeah lace grip it be holding really good like as soon as i put the two layers and i put the blow dryer if we that's it we good we in there like it's really nice um this glue it do be i don't really know if i it's like a i don't know if it's just me but you do gotta like make sure you have something and you and you making it flat because if not the glue will get like build up thick i think it's because it's a strong hole but the glue will build up a little thick and then when you paste it on you might have some glue poking out i never really had it gone through that issue with the um, issue with the ghost bomb but yeah you gotta make sure you're like when you apply the glue and it is white and it dries clear you take it and you flatten it out making sure you're making it flat and then you put it on um another thing is that it's so called say it's waterproof <clears throat> is it really y'all come on now i'll be washing my hair i mean washing my hair washing my face and then the tap like this part be coming up so quick i'll be like dang I thought this was water resistant. I was so happy because if y'all know, Ghost Bond is not water resistant, baby. You can't even wet this a little bit. This thing coming right up. But with this, I be washing my face and I sound like I'm pouring water. But you know, sometimes the water hit and it's coming right up. So I really don't, you know, rock with that. I feel like that's, you know, false advertisement. Because, you know, I was kind of looking forward to it, Even though I don't really be trying to swim with my head. I don't. What's the point of trying to swim in your lace when you get it freshed up? Like, girl, just get you some plastic. But... Not fresh stuff, but when you get it done, you know, what's the point of trying to swim with your hair and make it mess up? Like, what was the point of all that? Even though the glue's supposed to be water resistant, just get you some plastic. But, you know, if you wash your hair a little bit and then, the um, I mean, wash your face. Why well, keep saying hair, y'all? Well, if you wash your face a little bit, this shouldn't just come right off, like... And my tabs be lifting, the sides be lifting. I be like, damn, I got to add some more glue and then I be having to fix it up. But this do last, um, on my sister hair, I did put this on her hair. And her hair been in for, I think, two or three weeks. And it wasn't sliding bad. Like, it wasn't, um, she wasn't having no issues. Like, you know, it actually worked. It's a way stronger hold than this. The only difference is this is a little easier to take off. This one, you need, like, a little more time and more patience. To take off your hair, you shouldn't be rushing off to take your laces off anyways because if you trying to have your edges on all sides, which one? You know, you want to be bald head or you want to still have your hair be swimming. But, um, yeah, this, you kind of need, like, um, more patience. Definitely need to be using C22 and then use, um, alcohol. But usually when I take my laces off, the glue be, like, right on the wig and then I have to take a little bit off my, um, my forehead area but the last time i took this off i had to take up all the glue off my forehead it wasn't you know no biggie because i'm patient you just take the alcohol you work your way down i do have a video of how to remove your laces maybe i should make an updated one y'all let me know but it's really not that hard just have patience take your time and trust me your and your edges are not going nowhere like i've been wearing laces going on two years i'm so addicted the only thing i don't like is the maintenance of it because you got to keep touching it up and when it's lifting up it don't look as cute but um yeah if you just have patience take the alcohol and clean it up you'll be cool so yeah um what else about the glue it don't have no smell the first time you know i put it on on camera i smelt it and it kind of smells like elmer's glue the ghost bond hello of course it's gonna fall the the ghost bond i don't really know what it smells like i forget yeah, the ghost one don't got no smell. I swear I, the ghost one smell like Elmer's glue. Y'all, I'm wasting lace glue. But, yeah, um, so, my only really issue is this. It's not, it's, it's not water resistant. Definitely, it's not. Um, it would have been great, amazing. Like, this glue probably would have got an A plus for me. But it's not. I give this glue a definitely a solid B. Um, I'm going to keep trying it out, probably give it another month or so, and then I'll come back again with another review and to tell y'all how I really feel it. Like, you know, I want to try it on different laces, you know, lace material, and, um, yeah, different styles. Even with a closure, I could probably try to use this. You know, keep trying to test it out and do different things and experiment and to see how good this glue really is, but I don't totally bash it. I kind of do like it more than 
the ghost bond and i do plan on purchasing another lace grip i am going to keep y'all updated on the shipping because that three week wasn't cutting it for me at all it just no but um yeah so so far so good um i don't really have anything negative to say but what i did say and yeah so if y'all got any comments questions or concerns y'all let me know anything i didn't get to about this glue please let me know i was really just going on the top of my head for what i did remember because i know lost my notes but i did have to record this video because i'm like y'all waiting on this so i gotta you know keep it coming but anything that i probably missed will be in the description box or y'all can ask me questions down below of course and i will get back to y'all as soon as possible but yeah, so this is the lace grip. This is the glue. Um, I'm going to put their information down below. You can purchase it. Oh, and it is a little more pricey than the Ghost Bond. Ghost Bond, I believe, is $19.99. This is $10 more, but it's only $10 more. You know, you just invest in yourself. It's only $10 this, you know. But yeah, um, the bigger bottle, though, it is like one something. Yeah, and in a big bottle for Ghost Bond, is like 60 something. So there is a price difference, but... I don't know. I ain't gonna really, you know. I don't. I don't really know. But yeah. So I'm just letting y'all know. Um, for those who are interested out there about the prices and all of that. But they are pretty much the same size. The ghost ball seem like it's a little. It's a little bigger. This one a little slimmer. But that probably is the same size. Don't don't let me fool y'all. Lie to y'all like that. Excuse my nails. Y'all don't look at them. Boy, yeah, if you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, you already know there to put that down below. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, subscribe to be a part of the Dog Betty Gang because you already know what's going on. Dog Betty Gang taking over, it's going down 2019. That's that, it's the rap period. Free JC <laughs> went on real life. And I thank y'all for all the love and support, and I'll check you guys out in the next one. Bye, Dog